trekkingistrekking.com. We have this awful fear as human beings. We don't want to look like fools. Sometimes you got to look fool in the name of progress. I'll give you another metaphor about my son, who's, and I, I love him. We're really close. I have a daughter, too, who I, you know, I'll show you a picture later. She's a great girl. She's 16 years old. She's got a boyfriend. It's a whole nine yards, okay? My son's 14. He's fabulous. And we're having this conversation about when he plays in sports or when he does something about do you go full out or do you not? And I see sometimes in him that when he's out on the field or doing something, he doesn't play full out and he'll have an excuse. Like my leg hurts or my arm hurts or something happened, the coach was unfair, whatever, you know, the referee was unfair. And what happens with people is we tend to go out into the world and we look for those sort of excuses about why things aren't the way we want them. And when you do that, you lose all your power in life. When you start focusing on the external, on the excuses, you lose your power. Here's the way people really think. I will tell you, I can go out onto stage and bomb. You go out there and you just bomb, right? And people will respect you for going out there and trying your hardest. It's not how you actually perform that earns you the respect of your peers. It's the fact that you went out and actually did it. That's the difference. So if you're out there right now and you're a new salesperson or you're struggling as a salesperson, there's no embarrassment in the struggle. There's just not. The embarrassment is in quitting. The embarrassment is in not trying your hardest. And I was trying to explain the distinction to my son because I know inside he feels like, you know, everything's a crowd, he's a great player. So he thinks that maybe, like, you know, he didn't live up to our expectations and in some way that makes him not feel good inside. And I'm explaining, Carl, this is the hardest thing to learn in life, but you have to remember that all people care about is how much heart you have when you go about doing something. So as a salesperson, salesman, saleswoman, it's about your heart. Are you going at it with everything, you know, from here up internally, or are you just going through the motions and blaming your boss, blaming the lead source? You can always blame the lead source, right? You can blame the economy. There's a million reasons why you're not selling as much as you could. Things aren't going the way you want them. They're all excuses. And I call it, it's your story. And we have that story. It's like a circuit breaker for fear. We come up with a story of why things aren't the way we want them. And we hold on to that story. And it stops us from moving, moving forward. In truth, here's what it is. The only thing that stops you from getting what you want in life is the bullshit story you tell yourself of why you can't have it. You get that? What stops you back is the story, because the story stops you from getting honest. And if you can't get honest with yourself, there's no way you can go. Well, imagine like this, success in sales and life, it's like a roadmap, right? You know where you want to go, and you have this perfect strategy, the straight line to get there. It's a perfect strategy. It's going to get you there every single time. But if you don't know your starting point, if you're not getting honest with where you actually are, it doesn't matter how powerful the strategy is, and it doesn't matter how powerful your goal is. I'm going to ask you to set a goal today, right? A 60-day goal. And let's say you really set this goal, and I'll show you how to do it in a brilliant way. So it's visceral. So it makes you really feel it. And you see it, you sense it, you smell the goal. That's step one. I'm going to teach you the straight line, which is your strategy to get to your goal. But if you're not honest with where you are right now, your starting point, the map is worthless. There's three things that you need to know where you are, where you want to go, and how you're going to get there. Those are the three things you must have to take advantage of any opportunity. I'm going to give you the strategy. I'm going to ask you to tell me exactly where you want to go for yourself. you got to get honest. Don't blame the boss. Don't blame the leagues. Don't blame your job. Don't blame the industry you're in. Just get honest. If you don't like your industry, find another one. Selling, selling. You can sell anything. You can sell one product, you can sell anything, okay? Who is it? Trickingistricking.com